Hey guys, listen up. Michael is up on the roof and acting strange. Whoa, what's the situation? Unchuck, I think he's suffering from depression. Rishon. Okay, when's this shunning thing gonna end? Unchuck, never. Rishon, I think he wants us all to come out to the parking lot and watch him die. Is it nice outside? It was snowing earlier today. Let's go. Do I need my jacket? You will all be fine in exactly what you are wearing. Now, come on, let's go. Come on, guys, let's go. My life, oh, my life. Michael, what's wrong? Everything is wrong. The stress from my modern bio class has caused me to fall into a depression. Depression? Isn't that just a fancy word for feeling bummed out? What, you ignorant chemi? Depression is a very serious illness. Approximately 280 million people suffer from depression, according to a 2020 study. Is that the last year the data was available? Yes? Ah, my head is in such pain and turmoil. Michael, I just got an email from Dr. Childers. The final exam is curved. Really? Wait, check if there's an email. Uh, I'm looking through my inbox, not seeing an email. They might be bluffing. Wait. Oh, oh, here it is. Yeah, 10 point curve. Michael, come down and see. Hey, boss man. Hey, Creed. I heard you had depression. I, I have just the thing for you. Oh, wrong pocket. The Luxetine. Hmm. Don't do it, Michael. Don't do it. I need more information on this Deluxetine if I'm going to take it. I don't know what Michael's thinking. Drugs are bad. <clears throat> I didn't become a Lackawanna County Volunteer Sheriff's Deputy to have drugs peddled in this office. So according to the internet, people with depression have less norepinephrine in their interstitial fluid on average. Now I'm not interstitial. I'm just a little stitial. So maybe I should hear Creed out. Okay, cool cats. Creed, explain this to me like I'm a 10 year old. In the brain, norepinephrine is released by axons and received by adrenergic receptors. Now after some time, the neurochemical is either transported back to the axon via the norepinephrine transporter or into the interstitial fluid. If we can competitively inhibit Michael's norepinephrine transporter with the Luxby, we can direct more norepinephrine into the interstitial fluid. I think. So in normal function, norepinephrine along with sodium and chloride ions pass through the transporter without competition, without inhibition. Whenever deluxetine is taken, it matches, it mimics the structure and interactions of norepinephrine, essentially competitively inhibiting and blocking the transporter. Now, speaking of that structure and that interaction, we can see here these balls. That's what she said. So anyways, our deluxetine is here surrounded by our receptor complex. And as you can see, deluxetine hydrogen bonds with tyrosine 21. It has a pi to cation interaction with tyrosine 21. And it also has a pi to pi interaction with phenylalanine 253. This effectively blocks up the complex. All right, explain it to me like I'm a two year old. The drug makes your happy brain juices flow. Why do I need to say that? So after talking with Creed, I feel a lot better about taking the Lexitine. 
And even with exam three coming up and they say it's the hardest one, I think I'll make it through. Michael, can I have some?